All right, I know how you you YouTubers have an attention span of a two-year-old child, so uh, this is going to be a quick video on how to pound a sand point well. Here, here we are again. We're going to pound another sand point well. We're going to use this for irrigation. Step one, get your kids to dig a hole. Makes it a lot easier. I already got my screen on, one section of pipe. We'll pound that in a second. What you're gonna need for this job are definitely two pipe wrenches if you got them. There's your post hole pounder. And I said in my last video, make sure you get these little couplers to go on the end of your pipes. Make sure you get the ones that the threads are on the inside, as you can see. So I can put that post hole pounder right there and or post pounder in and not have to worry about damaging the ground. Start pounding. <laughs> It's gonna take a while. As maybe you can see in the video, I got a river running right there. But we're not gonna have to go more than probably 15 feet to hit water. Come on, get moving! That pound down pretty far. Add your second piece of pipe. I'd recommend pounding that down as low as you can because now I gotta put that pole sole pounder way up there and that's not gonna be fun. If you want, use a sledgehammer. Yeah? yeah. Pipe on there, make sure you tighten these down as tight as possible. Otherwise, you'll be sucking air instead of water. 15 feet down, and we're just gonna tie a bolt up to a piece of string and check to see if we got water. So we'll go ahead and let some down. You got water. That's definitely water. Now we're just gonna pound the rest of this pipe down as close to the ground as we can get it and uh, then we'll check to see uh, if we're in a good vein of water or not. All right, now we're gonna check to see if we're in a good vein of water. Go ahead. So we're definitely not. All right, so we're gonna check to see if we're in a good vein of water. We already put water in here. We already kind of know we're not. As you can see, it's overflowing. The way to tell whether or not you're in a good vein of water is that water should drain just as fast as you add it. So we'll keep pounding. Excited? All right, let's try that again. I already started filling it. Well, I only went down another two feet-ish and we're good. The pipe's not filling up with water. So we are pretty much done here. And I would say we're probably 14, 15 feet down. And that's how you know if, you got, if you're in a good vein of water. As you can tell, it's not filling up with water. It's going right back into the ground. All right, time to hook up a pump. And if you want uh, any other information, leave me a comment and uh, I'll try to get back to you. Uh, if you'd like to see a video of actually how to hook up the pump, let me know and I can do that as well. Peace.